Holly. Holly, come explain yourself. What is all of this? What is this? Yeah, you look so guilty. You are supposed to be a shipping manager. You are not supposed to be tearing up boxes. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Well, welcome back, guys. Today, as you know, we're working on Leroy. We're trying to get him prepped up for NMCA, which is tomorrow, Saturday. Things on the list for today are putting the engine back together. I'm waiting on my push rods to get here. They'll be here in a couple hours, and I'll reassemble the engine. In the meantime, I'm going to be putting the Murica transmission back in Leroy. So we got good reports on the transmission. Second and third gear had to be worked on a little bit, but the diff was in perfect shape, which is crazy considering what we've done to it. Everything's looking good, guys. We're gonna pop this in today. So first things first, guys, I did take apart my old shifter and I'm putting together my new shifter. This thing's brand new, it feels really good. This one has seen some serious abuse. It's obviously a little bit worn out, so we're finally upgrading. I'm about to drop the rear subframe as usual. You guys have seen me do that a bajillion times. Shouldn't take me long at all. And we will grab that transmission off the pallet, toss it in Leroy, put in the new shifter, and hopefully by then the push rods have shown up and we can start reassembling the engine. So the cradle came down nice and easy as usual. You can see the stock axles here are still just chilling, you know, living life. Let's see how much longer they've got in them. Everything looks good over here though. We're gonna grab that transmission, pull it off the pallet, toss her in there. Oh, we gotta put some fluid in it. That would be good. So I'll put some fluid in it, then we'll throw it in the car. The big girl, I got her totally unpackaged now. Look at how sexy this Merc transmission is. Can't wait to have her back in Leroy. Mm. Looks so good. All right, the Merc Trans is ready to go back into Leroy. Got the Lincoln John. Filled it up with some Synchro Max. I haven't filled the diff yet. I gotta run out and get some fluid for that, but it's pretty much ready to go back in. The brace is on. Just gotta put it up in there and bolt it down. Transmission is in, it's getting so simple. I honestly think Holly could do it at this point. My system is it's getting pretty easy. All right guys, so the transmission is in easy enough. I figured I'd skip the time lapse because you guys have seen that a million times. We've got Kevin from KSR Fab here. He brought us some push rods and he's gonna help us put together the engine and he's gonna help us when we're on the dyno later tonight. So a lot of work to do on that engine. We're gonna get right to it and try and finish this puppy up so we can race it tomorrow. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm going from this old, big old gnarly shift knob and old beat up shifter. I know, Cooper hooked me up with that shift knob. Shout out to Cooper. <laughs> to this new one, it turned out so sick. Look at this thing, it's so solid. I'm, I'm thinking this is gonna be really nice and I'm power shifting, you know what I'm saying? All right, so first of all, it looks 10 times better than the other one, but just look at this. I mean, it's like, oh, Woo. that is nice, folks. That is nice. Okay, we need to start working on the engine. Let's see what Kevin's up to. Torquing them down? Yep. Hell yeah, brother. Things are coming along, guys. Things are coming along. I'm gonna kick on the old time lapse. Let's start knocking this thing out.
All right, guys, so both of our turps keys are done. We got the bigger back housings on there and they're looking nice and pretty. You can see the old rusty dogs are sitting over here. Throw these back in the box. They're still good to use. So we'll keep them around in case we decide to switch back. Otherwise, they're looking good. I don't have them tightened down yet because we'll have to change the orientation of them a bit. But the heads are getting wrapped up right now. We're about to put the manifolds on and then we will uh, put the turbos on. Looks like Kevin's finishing up some grounds right now. It's coming along, boys and girls. It's coming along. Alright guys, so I got this manifold on and I'm happy to announce that it fits just like the stock casting. So that's good. We were worried about some clearancing issues, but we're all set there. I've got the other manifold sitting right here, all cleaned up, ready to roll. Gonna toss it in, put the gasket in, obviously, torque it down. We'll do the intake before we do the wastegates and turbos. All right, ladies and gents, the intake is on and most of the stuff is buttoned up in terms of wiring, things that are plug and play or mostly plugged in injectors, um, you know, IAC, TPS, just a bunch of random stuff. You know, put the alternator back on, belt on. It is time to put the turb skis on and the waste gates. We gotta replumb the vacuum lines, put the exhaust on, and we'll pretty much be right there. All right guys, the turbos are back on. They look so naked without those uh, those lava blankets we keep on them. Things are looking good, they're coming along. We're putting the wastegates on now. And like I said, gotta hook up the uh, vacuum lines, but we're on our way. So I'm curious to hook up the cold side, make sure everything still fits, but we're almost to that. We're just buttoning up the car now. There's so many things when you're buttoning up Leroy, it's insane. Like, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, just look at all that stuff. We're definitely not gonna dyno it tonight just because it's already so late and we have to be at the track tomorrow at like 7.30 or 8 a.m. and it's just gonna be insane. I'm gonna, so we're gonna wrap it up right now and hopefully it fires up and is good to go. Okay, guys, just to prove this is first crank, I'll even show them the water temp sensor. We will play that game. All right. Where is it at? 64 degrees. All right. So, just so they know it hasn't been started. Wow, that was easy. That was easy. Sounds about right to me. Hell yeah. Guys, Leroy is good to go. Everything sounds good, looks good. I hopped in it, put it in gear, the transmission's all good. I think we're ready to race. So we're heading to NMCA in the morning, Bradenton Motorsports Park. Hope to see many of you guys there. Thanks for watching Do For Dale. We will see you later.